Hey there, Fatty from Pack of Punch Traders here with another video lesson. I'm uh, gonna go over a couple plays today. Another solid day. I'll go over some lessons and a couple tickers for tomorrow. So we'll start off with DRMA. What we got here? Get this could stop lagging. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. <clears throat> um, but here, what you end up getting is just your day one gapper, and what I typically look for is a failure to break down and reclaim of the open price and VWAP, and in this case, this still does not work, oh, oh, okay, there we go, perfect timing, so, yeah, and in this case, we end up getting stuffed. But it did hold up. Here's the long term chart. Very nasty downtrend, but it is due for a bounce here. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow because, you know, we got the solid bounce. But the morning where I did trade it, it this ended up becoming a scratch play for me. It is a low float, so I thought we we're going to get more of a push from this thing to the mid ones, maybe. <clears throat> but I was in at 142. After we got this reclaim or hold of the open price of 134, we got a reclaim and once I got out of another position, I gave this one some attention. We'll go over that one in a second. It was IRNT. But in this case, get in at 142 while it's holding up here. Get a quick little dip, holds up, and we start getting the push. And volume starts coming in, <clears throat> but it just chops around for a second and could not really keep going higher. And here's, you know, another lesson on strength of a play. How I said, you, <coughs> excuse me, judging a stock strength by its pullbacks. And in this case, this is a nasty pullback. You're pretty sure this is not going to continue. Um, we got the huge fade in volume. Which did lead to a little bounce, but overall here, you got the quick fake out, you got stuffed, and then shorts just took over. There's too much selling here, and this kind of nasty panic is typically a precursor for a fade or another panic. Um, not always, of course. You know, they could always end up holding up and curling back, but you know, this is an odds base game, and, re and you know, this. I just see that, and I think the odds are definitely less. And you might get faked out with this double bottom here, but volume just never really comes in, so shorts never really get scared out or anything. <clears throat> they were kind of in control the whole time. This is a lower high for them to size into or just get comfortable with. And from there, it's just a fade. It does end up having a little bounce here late day. So we'll see if this thing could hold up and give a previous high day break tomorrow or 155 but today for me this was a quick scratch I panic sold at 148 um, it's kind of annoying with this because could have made a little more I was about to sell and then this minute happened and it just once I saw the red I right away market sell ended up getting out at 148 and yeah so <clears throat> That was just kind of a crappy trade. But you know, it happens. Wish I didn't take it even though I did make 60 bucks out of it. Better than nothing. Um, not, not a perfect play. But I was willing to take the shot. So, you know, I was happy about that. Because I did take a moment and be like, and think if I really did want to take this. If it's something I was willing to risk, kind of thought about its potential the only thing I didn't like was this nasty downtrend so it's got some overhead resistance besides that I thought it had a lot going for it but you know they don't always work out and I'll just move on to IRNT <coughs> bigger float here what's the market cap yeah still kind of small 300 
not ideal for me, but also trade a 300 million market cap. Similar pattern here, except this time we got this huge after hours move. Ends up dipping here. Uh, I was considering waiting, being patient and waiting for that break of the after hours move. Oh, wait one second, let me show this chart here. So, overall, just garbage. We see it had a run before. Solid run. Um, but yeah, just gradual fade ever since. Bunch of overhead resistance. So, wasn't expecting this thing to go parabolic, but I thought we'd maybe get a move back up to the high seven or high fives, mid sixes. So, that didn't shape out. But considering I was in at a good price, I didn't really care. I got out just under 10% and we'll dive into this right here so we got that after hours move we got that dip um, pre-market and here similar thing open price be whopper claim I was a little late to it but you know still not bad I got in at 4.4 you know could have gotten in right around the 26 area while I was holding here, maybe 30. But, you know, not bad. Still got that high day right there, right around 4.4. So, some bullish signals. And waited a couple minutes and then just went vertical. Volume just took off. And then we did not get any follow through. And I quickly sold market order. And they're getting out at 4.83 as it was dipping here. Uh, if I just sold half a second, a second earlier, for sure would have got 10%. But that's just penny games. Who really cares? General thinking is there. You got the quick perk higher. It goes vertical. And with momentum like that, you should get a bit more of a continuation. You can see it with the volume. It just gets smacked. Um, so, you know, once again, similar to DRMA and my blog post over the weekend <clears throat> with how to recognize the strength of some of these plays you know sometimes you do want to, the, the pullback is healthy you want to go through it it will offer more profits in the future but you really have to judge the way the pullback is happening um, some of them are dangerous some of them are precursors to further fade or dipping it's just clear momentum shift or, you know, it's just clearly not in favor of the longs and shorts have control. This is another one. It did get a double top, so solid bounce. Another opportunity to kind of trade it again. But I totally ignored it. I took this right before the RMA. 800 shares in this one. 4.4 four to 4.83. Two combined. 404 bucks on the day. Not too bad all in the morning. And not too bad of a day. Just cutting back on my trades for sure this week. One to two trades a day. Um, it's really paying off. Especially paying off. Not just I'm um, having less trades. But they're all winners. Thank God 100% this week so far. We're looking to finish the week off strong tomorrow. We'll see what happens. we got a couple good plays lining up. Uh, I'm going to go over a couple other plays that I didn't look at at all. There's a couple good ones. VCNX, that was one. Took my eye off the ball. Where are we at? Where are we at? Yeah, so we got a 180, what? 185-ish? Call it 185. Breakout. This was right out of the watch list here. Uh, looking to test low twos. Ends up getting a 228, just absolutely perfect. Right into this resistance here. Couldn't even touch it. Missed it, but, you know, still holding up. This could potentially be something tomorrow for a previous high day break. But I just want to go over uh, this beautiful breakout. Just how it happened so quickly. Getting it on this high or low would have been perfect. In a matter of one, two, three minutes, you're up 20%. So, great play. Fortunate that I missed it. 
But yeah, just want to go over that as well as what was the other one? LKCO. Great call, 75 cent breakout. Been holding up, gradually making higher lows. Past couple days, that trend is intact. It was very nice. Larger float, of course. Um, it's a very small price. But right there, you got it. 75 cent breakout. I was looking for a quick 7 to 10 cents. That's exactly what happened. Tops out right at 8498. Um, not really much to say about this. Sucks that I missed it. Would have been a great opportunity on that VWAP hold in the confirmation of the break. And just a clear play. <clears throat> so, yeah. Just want to go over those. Kind of nice to see. Plays happen even when you're not really looking at them, um, especially when you're making money somewhere else. Definitely some opportunity. This week has warmed up a bit. There's some more volume in small caps, some more action. So we'll see what happens. But for I finish this up, I just want to go over KAVL. This is probably my top play for tomorrow on watch. Solid bounce here into the close and after hours, failing to break down, holding up right around the breakout level of, once again, 182 here, pretty close to that previous play, BCNX. Um, but yeah, failing to break down, it looks like. We're going to have Friday tomorrow, low flow, breakout play, hold near the highs, spiking after hours, showing strong momentum. All you need is PR and anything. This thing takes off. Um, but I'll be really excited for 228 breakout. Or whatever the high is here. What was it? Yeah, 228. Beautiful. To test three. Maybe the high twos here. But I think we'll get back up to three. It's got a lot of things going for it. Uh, but yeah, it's just a waiting game for now. For the breakout. So we'll see what happens. It's been a play all week. Still uptrending, so a lot of bu bullish signals. That's all I can really say for that right now. Uh, next play, DCFC. You know, beautiful parabolic play here. Just looking for that bouncing ball, that multi day bounce. I think we get back to the mid 16s, maybe 17. If it does decide to take off, I would be more than happy to take a 1975. Breakout play. The only thing I don't like is the market cap and float. But this thing has proven to move just like a penny stock. So I'm going to treat it like that. And yeah, we got this beautiful pattern here. Just going to look for that bounce play. And we'll call it a day there. Usually these bounce plays spike 25, maybe 30%. So... We'll see how patient I am, if I will let it ride for that long, or if I just take my quick 10%. But for now, until I see anything else tomorrow, any gappers or whatnot, KVL and DCFC are my top watches for tomorrow. we got a multi-day bounce and a breakout play. So this thing's getting close to 15 minutes here. It's getting too long. But, you know, going over real quick, judging the stocks by its pullbacks. You'll, you know, get the gauge of the strength, where the momentum is. <clears throat> um, and then cutting losses quickly. Didn't do that really this week. In a way, today with uh, DRMA, or is that what it was? I forgot. Um, would, I cut my um, gains quick and just took my quick scratch when I recognized it wasn't going to keep going and that it was top. Uh, what else? Uh, managing your trades, not so many in a week. It definitely has helped me out so far this week. Don't want to jinx it and fuck it up tomorrow. But one to two trades a day has really paid off. I've been barely paying attention to the market 
half a day. All the plays for me have been coming in the morning. I just take them and enjoy the rest of the day. So we'll see if tomorrow is like that. I hope this was helpful. You can kind of see some reoccurring patterns with some of these lessons with the pullbacks and whatnot. So yeah, we'll just wrap it up there. Uh, yeah, get ready for tomorrow. Have a good night.